Father, we thank you today for your anointing. We thank you, Lord, that it is the anointing that breaks the yoke. We give you praise and honor and glory today. We magnify you because you are the God who sits on the throne. Your throne is not wobbly. It's not likely to fall apart. It's built on the foundation of righteousness and justice. And we thank you, Lord, that we can come to you today asking you to cleanse us from all unrighteousness so that we can pray hidden in the shadow of your wings. We ask you, Lord, today to forgive us of all of our sins as we ready ourselves to engage in warfare, to forgive us of all of our sins, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We submit our hearts to you, our hands, our minds, everything we have and everything we are. We submit it to you. And we ask you, Lord, to have your way. Your word tells us, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. So that is what we're doing now, God. We're submitting everything that we have and everything that we are into your capable hands because you are the king of glory. You are our heavenly father. You're not a hellish father. You're not the father of lies like our opponent, our adversary, the devil who roams about like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. You are a heavenly father. You've got your eye on us. We're the apple of your eye. You're watching over us affectionately. So, Father, as we fight this battle, help us to remember that the battle belongs to you. It is your battle. We are your battle axe. We are your weapon of war. And we will bludgeon the enemy today with the word of God and with the anointing that breaks the yoke. For I am not willing that one of you should leave this broadcast without that yoke broken from off your neck today. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you. We praise you for we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And we step onto the battlefield armored up. We put on our helmet of salvation. We take up the sword of the spirit. We put on that breastplate of righteousness, those shoes of peace. We wrap that belt of truth around us. And we thank you, Lord, that we are armored up. We are ready to run, ready to fight ready to overcome, ready to win, ready to gather the spoils, ready to take back what the devil stole, to push back the darkness that has invaded our airspace, our headspace in Jesus name. We thank you, Lord, that you go with us into battle, that you make a way for us, that you lead us. And we know when you lead us into battle, we always have triumph because your word tells us so. And that you are our rear guard today. Lord, dispatch your angels to fight with us, to fight for us in this epic battle that we find ourselves in, in this season. Send your angels, God, your warring angels on assignment to deal with those principalities in the heavenly realms while we deal with the foot level, the boot level warfare. Help us, Lord, to cooperate with the ministry of angels in this fight, it's your fight, it's your battle. And we thank you, Lord, as we engage for the rules of engagement that we have followed as we enter in, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, Father, let the head of every marine demon fashioned against us be broken in the name of Jesus. Every Leviathan spirit, God, crush their heads in the name of Jesus. Every python spirit, oh God, cut off the head of that serpent in Jesus' name. I break the powers of witchcraft emanating from marine demons in the name of Jesus. We say this weapon of witchcraft shall not prosper against us, but it must fall to the ground. It is written, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, but every tongue that rises up against us shall be condemned. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you wrote it in your word. And when we speak it out of our mouth, it is so. When it is written, it is so. Because it is written, it is so. Your whole word is true, proven, tested by fire, pure and holy. And we stand on that word in Jesus' name. Father, let every evil trend directing the affairs of our lives be reversed 
now in the name of Jesus. We will not be subject to the trends of the world. We will not be subject to the kingdoms of the earth, but those kingdoms shall become the kingdoms of our God. And so we stand on the reality that we are citizens of heaven and we are not subject to the laws that govern this earth, but we are subject to the laws of the creator of the universe in Jesus name. Every evil trend, I reverse it in the name of the Lord. Oh Lord, would you uproot evil things from our lives, God? If we have opened the door, even an inch, even a crack, if we have evil things in our heart, evil motives, evil intentions that we do not see, Lord, uproot these evil things from our lives because they are like demon magnets. They're drawing evil powers to us to engage with us, to influence us, to tempt us to sin so that they can come in for the kill while we are out of fellowship with you. Oh, Jesus, help us, Lord. Forgive us and uproot the evil things from our lives, oh God, but then plant the good things there in our hearts. Plant the good things. Plant the word. Plant the things of the Spirit, oh God. Plant your truth. Your desires, God. Give us your desires, God. Give us your desires, God, in Jesus' name. Now I cancel. I said I cancel every unconscious negative agreement that I have made. You cancel yours. This is what you do. You say, I cancel every unconscious negative agreement in Jesus name. We break all agreement with the enemy now in the name of Jesus. I said, we break it. We break it. We cancel every unconscious negative agreement. We don't even know sometimes the thoughts that we meditate upon those thoughts of the enemy. He puts them, he whispers them, plants them in our hearts while we're not even paying attention. And we have these unconscious negative agreements. So father, in the name of Jesus, we cancel them now in Jesus name. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, make us your sharp battle axe. We confess that we are your battle axe. We are your war club. We are your weapon of war. Sharpen us, oh God. Sharpen us, oh God. Sharpen us for the battle because sometimes we get a little weary. Sometimes we need to sharpen that sword. Sometimes we can't see what we can't see. Our eyesight has grown dim because we have grown weary. Sharpen us, God. Sharpen us, God. Sharpen us, God, in Jesus' name. Now, Father, let every spiritual weakness in our lives receive termination in Jesus' name. I said every single one of them. Every spiritual weakness, the ones we know about, the ones we don't know about. Let every spiritual weakness, the ones we can see, the ones that are hidden from our view, let every spiritual weakness in our life receive termination in Jesus name. We break you and strengthen us, God. Strengthen us with the power of your Holy Spirit. Strengthen us from the inside out. God, breathe the breath of life upon us again. When we are weak, you are strong and we're going to depend on you in this battle. We're going to depend on you in this fight where we are weak. You are strong. But strengthen us, God. Terminate the spiritual weakness and breathe life on us in Jesus' name. Now, Father, let every financial failure in our lives receive termination. Every financial failure, every negative financial trend, we reverse it and we speak failure to financial failure. And we say we shall prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. And we thank you, Lord, that you've given us the power to create wealth, to establish your covenant in the earth. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us the power to create wealth, to establish your covenant in the earth. So all manners, all mechanisms, all strategies against our finances, we call them null and void and we terminate you in Jesus name. I just had a vision of Singapore. Father, let every sickness the enemy has planned to bring into our lives receive termination in the name of Jesus. Every sickness, every disease, every coronavirus, every plague, let every sickness in our life receive termination now in the name of Jesus. 
we decree and declare that we are healed and whole from the top of our head to the sole of our feet and I plead the blood of Jesus over all of us our families our finances our businesses our ministries everything that pertains to our life I plead the blood and I cancel every assignment of sickness and disease that the enemy may have been planning and plotting against us while we sleep father in the name of Jesus let every architect of problems in my life receive termination demonic architects that want to build evil structures in our lives they want to create problems and challenges and obstacles and opposition and distractions and drama these architects these demonic evil architects God we terminate them in Jesus name loose our lives and we thank you Lord that you are the greatest architect the greatest builder of all time and you can build our lives and you can rebuild our lives again the things the enemy has damaged you can reconcile you can bring redemption and restoration in Jesus name now we refuse we refuse Karabashi we refuse to reap any satanic harvest in any area of our lives in the name of Jesus we reject it we're not opening the door we're not signing for the package we refuse it now in Jesus name we won't accept it we cancel that satanic harvest in the name of the Lord for your glory God and we call in your harvest we call in the angels of abundant harvest to bring in that which belongs to us that which you have ordained for us that which you have set aside for us that which you have prepared for us in Jesus name now father I paralyze all spiritual wolves working against our lives in Jesus name you nocturnal warfare demons we push you back we see you we know who you are and we break your powers over our lives to deceive us to tempt us even the wolves in sheep's clothing we paralyze their strategies in the name of Jesus those wolves in sheep's clothing those false prophets those false teachers those false pastors we paralyze the assignment the agenda that they're releasing against our life to bring deception in the name of Jesus I decree and I command I said I decree and I command I said I decree and I command that which hinders us from greatness to give way now and bow to the name of Jesus I command every hindering spirit to bow to the name of Jesus I decree every harassing spirit must bow to the name of Jesus now I said now I will not toil with you any longer you hindering spirits I will not allow you in my vicinity any longer get out in Jesus name I say every imprisoned and buried potential in our lives must come forth now in the name of Jesus every hidden potential every buried potential that's buried under trauma buried under pain buried under procrastination I call forth potentials now in Jesus name I command I command I said I command all unfriendly helpers in any area of my life and in any area of your life to depart in Jesus name those helpers in disguise those Jezebelic people who want to come in and volunteer and help and serve and pick up the slack in our businesses and our ministries and our personal lives unfriendly helpers Jezebelic spirits Judas's in disguise Absalom spirit driven people anybody that is not supposed to be in our life I command you to depart in Jesus name you demon inspired demonic helper father eradicate those ones from our lives who are not supposed to be part of it those who are assignments of the enemy those who have come in disguise to steal kill and destroy to hurt us to harm us to bring us pain to steal to steal to steal I break it I said get out of our lives now in Jesus name I sever your rights to access father in the name of Jesus I render null and void I said I render null and void I bring to no effect 
any interaction with satanic agents moving around us as men and women in Jesus' name. I said I render null and void the effect, the intentions. I bring to no effect any interaction with satanic agents moving around us as men and women. Those ones that come in disguise, we said, no, you can't come. Get out in Jesus' name. We pull down the strongholds of evil strangers in every areas of our life in Jesus' name. Any negative transaction currently affecting our lives in a negative way, we cancel you out in Jesus' name. Any and all negative transactions affecting our lives in any slightly negative way or in a majorly negative way, be canceled in the name of Jesus. I said be canceled in the name of Jesus. Now I command. I said I command. This is not negotiable. I command all the works done against us in secret to be exposed and nullified now in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring those agents of darkness to repentance. Those believers who you love that are embodied, that are infiltrated, that are being influenced by demon spirits, bring them to repentance so they can cut off the influence in their life that is bringing them a harvest that they don't want. I said, I command all the dark works against us done in secret to be exposed and nullified in Jesus name. And we loose ourselves now from any dark spirit in the name of Jesus. We loose ourselves. We loose ourselves. We loose ourselves in Jesus name. I decree every incantation, hex, vex, potion, spell, every expression of witchcraft is canceled, nullified, revoked, and sent back to the sender now in Jesus name. Now I command all oppressors of our soul to retreat and flee in defeat this moment right now non-negotiable I said go in the name of Jesus all oppressors retreat and flee in defeat the devil came at us one way he's got to flee seven ways that is the Word of God it is written the devil may come at you one way he's got to flee seven ways I said he's got to go he is evicted now in Jesus name no I bind every strong man holding our goods in his possession in the name of Jesus I said I bind that strong man I bind that strong man and we gather the spoils. He has our stuff and we want it back now in the name of Jesus. Every strong man holding back what belongs to us. Loose the bounty. Loose the bounty. Loose the bounty in Jesus' name. Loose the bounty in Jesus' name. Give back what belongs to us. Now, we break every curse of automatic failure working in or around our lives in Jesus name father let the anointing to prosper fall mightily upon us now in Jesus name let that anointing to prosper you promise in your word everything we put our hand to will prosper help us Lord to obey your law so that we can see the prosperity manifest in the name of Jesus and I plead the blood of Jesus over all of us. I break the power of retaliation. I say no weapon of retaliation shall prosper, but we are going higher. 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 And no devil's going to keep us down or hold us back. I break the powers of this persistent opposition once and for all in Jesus name. We thank you, God, that you have redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith that was Galatians 3 13 and 14 numbers 23 23 surely there is no enchantment against Jacob neither is there any divination against Israel according to this time it shall be said of Jacob and Israel what hath God wrought father we thank you for the redemptive power in the blood of Jesus Lord we thank you for the blood of the lamb that cleanses us from all unrighteousness and by which we can curse we can break curses 
The curse causeless shall not come. We plead the blood of Jesus over ourselves, over our families, over our ministries, over our finances, over everything that pertains to us. We plead the blood. We say the blood is superior and speaks a better thing than the curse in Jesus name. We praise you, Lord, that you have redeemed us from the curse of the law. You yourself, by your own choice, became a curse for us so that we can escape the snares of the enemy's curses, the secret curses, the hidden curses. Now, Father, forgive us. Forgive us, Lord, for anything we have done, for anything we have said, for anything we have not discerned that has given the enemy a legal right not to curse us, but for the curse to land. Father, would you help us to see what we could not see? We repent for our lack of discernment. We repent for getting involved with people that you warned us about. And we repent for the sin of our hands, the sin of our mind. We repent, God, and we ask you to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, forgive us of these sins that allowed the enemy to gain entrance into our lives. Now, I take authority over every curse upon our lives now in Jesus' name. I command all curses issued against me and against you to be broken in the name of Jesus. I sever every curse now in the name of Jesus. I take authority over it in the name of Yeshua. And I command all evil spirits associated with any curse spoken against us to be broken to loose us to leave our presence and be cast out from our lives in Jesus name every evil spirit associated tied allied with the curses that were spoken against us to steal kill and destroy we bind them we take authority over them we cast you off and out of our lives in Jesus name I take authority over inherited curses, generational curses, family curses, bloodline curses. And I command them to be broken off of our lives in Jesus' name. Even the residue, God, blow it away in the name of Jesus. Blow away the residue of the generational curses, the tendencies associated with those things from which you are delivering us. The temptation to turn back to it, God. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil in Jesus' name. Now I take authority over curses emanating from evil dedications. And I command them to be broken now in Jesus' name. I take authority over curses emanating from ancestral sins and command them to be broken now in Jesus name I take authority over curses emanating from handling cursed objects in the name of Jesus I command them to be broken now I take authority over curses emanating from witchcraft From all sources, all forms, all manner, every expression of witchcraft, I command these curses to be broken now in Jesus' name. I take authority over curses emanating from satanic agents. And I command these curses to be broken now in Jesus' name. I take authority over curses emanating from spiritual ignorance and command them to be broken now in Jesus' name. Come on. I take authority over curses emanating from living in cursed land or cursed housing. And I command these curses to be broken now in Jesus name. I take authority over curses emanating from being born in a satanic altar. And I command them to be broken now in Jesus name. I take authority over curses emanating from strange money or cursed gifts, things that people put in our hands or put in our pockets, left in our homes. And I command these curses to be broken now in Jesus' name. I take authority over curses emanating from partaking of food sacrificed to idols. And I command these curses to be broken now in Jesus' name. I take authority over curses emanating from conscious or unconscious honoring of demon idols. And I command these curses to be broken now in Jesus' name. Ah, I command 
these curses to be broken now in Jesus' name. I take authority over curses emanating from conscious and unconscious performance of demonic rituals in Jesus' name. And I command these curses to be broken now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, who became a curse for us. In the name of Jesus, I break any curse which may be in my parents' families back to 10 generations in the name of Jesus. I renounce and break all curses put on my family line and my descendants in Jesus' name. Even my descendants, descendants, I call them blessed in the name of Jesus. I command every bad spirit of any curse to release me, to release us, and go now in the name of Jesus. I said every bad spirit of any curse must release us now in Jesus' name. Fear, rejection, barrenness that's attached to curses, these spirits that want to plague us years and years and years after direct contact, leaving us barren, leaving us hopeless, hope deferred, making our hearts sick. I command these demons to loose us now in the name of Jesus. I break every curse of automatic failure working in our family in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every curse of sickness, every curse of infirmity, every curse of deformity, every curse of family destruction, marital destruction, financial destruction, physical and spiritual destruction. I take authority over these curses in the name of Jesus, over ourselves, over our families in Jesus' name. I take authority over every unconscious or playful curse issued on me in the name of Jesus. People who thought they were kidding, who thought they were joking, and nevertheless their curses came from their very own silly mouths. We ask you, Lord, to forgive those who released playful curses because it wasn't a play game for the enemy. And the enemy took those curses. He took those words, the coarse jesting, and he used it against us for our harm. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the root of our lives be purged by the fire of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, O oh God, let the root of our life be purged by fire with the blood of Jesus. Let the root of our life be washed in the blood of Jesus. I break and cancel every curse placed on children to punish their parents in our lives in Jesus' name. I break and cancel every curse placed on us out of jealousy in the name of Jesus. Every curse placed upon us because of envious people, because of jealousy in the name of Jesus. I break those curses, the curses from the jealous, evil, envious, offended people in Jesus name they cursed us in a moment of anger they cursed us in a moment of rage they didn't know what they were doing but the curse has landed and we break it we root it out in Jesus name I break and cancel every word curse that clinicians doctors nurses these medical curses I break them now in the name of Jesus I break and cancel every curse issued by satanic ministers against our lives in Jesus name. I break and cancel every curse emanating from evil prophecies, false prophecies. I said I break and cancel every curse emanating from evil prophecies, false prophecies in the name of Jesus. I release us, all of us, from any curse emanating from past heresies or blasphemies. In the name of Jesus, I release us from any curse emanating from breaking a person's heart. In the name of Jesus, I release us now from any curse emanating from our own mouths, the self-imposed curses. In the name of Jesus, I release us now from any curse emanating from past involvement in a false religion. In the name of Jesus, I release us now from any curse emanating from failure to tithe or failure to obey God in the area of giving. In Jesus' name, I release us now from any curse emanating from deliberate sin, willful sin, premeditated sin that left us open for enemy attack. In the name of Jesus, I release us now from any curse emanating from negative words. In the name of Jesus. I release us now from every curse 
emanating from misappropriation of God's glory in Jesus name forgive us Lord for touching your glory I release us now from any curse emanating from trying to purify the unclean for calling that which is profane holy in Jesus name I release us now from every curse emanating from past involvement in immorality and sexual perversion of any kind in Jesus name I release us now from every curse emanating from conscious and unconscious demonic sacrifice in Jesus name I release us now from every curse emanating from conscious or unconscious or unrighteous denial of another person's right in Jesus name I reverse all the curses in the name of Jesus and I decree there shall be no more poverty there shall be no more sickness there shall be no more divorce there shall be no more depression there shall be no more obesity there shall be no more barrenness there shall be no more confusion there shall be no more fear in Jesus name I reverse all these curses in the name of Jesus and I say there shall not be any more trauma there shall not be any more medical issues there shall not be any more nightmares there shall not be any more wanderings in Jesus name I reverse all these curses in the name of Jesus and I say there shall not be any more spiritual backsliding there shall not be any more financial destruction there shall not be any more financial gaps in Jesus name and I decree over you the blessing of the Lord that makes you rich I release the blessing of the Lord over your life the blessing of the Lord the blessing of the Lord the blessings of the Lord the blessings of the Lord I decree you are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places you are blessed coming in and blessed coming out blessed are you because you trust in the Lord your confidence is in him I'd say that you'll be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream I say that you will not fear when the heat comes that your leaves will always be green that you will have no worries in a year of drought and you will never bear fail to bear fruit I say that the Lord blesses you and keeps you and makes his face to shine upon you and is gracious to you and gives you peace I say that God will give you the desires of your heart and make all your plans succeed I say that when you commit your work to the Lord your plans will be securely established in Jesus name I decree that my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus I decree that you shall taste and see that the Lord is good and you are blessed because you take refuge in him I decree that the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want that he makes you lie down in green pastures and lead you beside quiet waters I decree that you are blessed and that God has stored up abundant goodness for you I decree that the grace of the Lord Jesus is with your spirit I decree that you are blessed coming in and blessed going out in Jesus name amen and amen father I thank you that you are good and we praise you this afternoon we thank you for your goodness and your grace we're so grateful we are so grateful that you are still on the throne and you are a victorious God there is no other God like you no other God who is mighty in battle no other God who has never lost a battle you are that God you are the God of all gods you are the great and mighty one you are the God of Israel we thank you Lord for your goodness and your grace there just is simply no God who compares to you we thank you Lord for what you're doing in the earth right now we thank you Lord for your goodness and your glory we thank you Lord that we can come to your throne we can repent for our sins we can find cleansing for our unrighteousness the things that we've done to grieve you so before we go into warfare today before we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the devil in your name before we throw down some demon powers in your name we come to your throne and we repent we ask you Lord to forgive us of our sins forgive us of our gossip our slander our critics critical spirit forgive us of those things that have separated us from deeper fellowship with you 
forgive us for complaining and nagging and being impatient these aren't abominations but they still grieve your heart so father would you would you would you break in with light and show us those things that have opened doors to demon powers that are trying to decimate our destinies would you show us God if we have in some way cooperated with the wicked one if we have yielded to his voice if we have heeded his directives so that we can learn and grow and come closer to you and further away from evil day by day day by day thy kingdom come thy will be done in our lives we thank you Lord that you are with us in battle and you are mighty in battle you are the Lord the warrior the warrior God you are the God who fights our battles for us when you have to but we are your battle axe and you've given us authority so we're going to stand today in that authority in the authority of Christ we are going to stand today in that authority in the authority of Christ and deal with decimating destiny killing demons father we thank you for empowering our prayers this afternoon in Jesus name now father let every anti-progress altar fashioned against us be destroyed with the fire of God in the name of Jesus every demon power that's hindering our destiny hindering our flow we thank you Lord that it is decimated it is destroyed by the fire of God we say double fire against the demon powers that are working overtime day and night night and day trying to destroy our lives trying to keep us from stepping into your purpose oh God we declare double fire against them in Jesus name we command in Jesus name our destinies to begin to change for the better what the devil meant for harm you mean for good what the devil meant for harm you mean for good what the devil meant for harm you mean for good so father we say these destiny destroying demons have no power over us and our lives are going to begin to change for the better 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 in Jesus name oh God oh God oh God let our hands become the sword of fire to cut down demonic trees that have sprouted up in our lives in the name of Jesus we cut those demonic trees down with the word with the sword of the spirit oh God let a sword emanate from our mouths the way the sword emanates from yours that double-edged sword that is in your mouth you're coming back you're coming back you're coming back with hair white as wool eyes of burning fire feet of bronze and a two-edged sword in your mouth God let that same sword be in our mouth as we set out to cut down demonic trees in the name of Jesus father let the stamping of our feet defeat the camp of the enemy in Jesus name we declare that the enemy is under our feet that's where he stays that's where he belongs we are the head and not the tail above only and not beneath oh we thank you Lord we can stop on the devil we thank you Lord we can stop right into the devil's camp and take back what he stole from us in the name of Jesus we command all boastful evil powers delegated against us to be silenced in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus shut up and come out shut up and leave our presence in the name of the Lord we shall not listen to your wagging tongue anymore we shall not listen to the vain imaginations anymore we shall not give you head space any longer we say you boastful evil powers that have been delegated against us we break up your delegation and we send you packing we say the devil comes at us one way but he's got to flee seven ways in the name of Jesus father we withdraw our benefits from the hands of oppressors now in Jesus name I said we withdraw 
our benefits from the hand of the oppressor, from the hand of the thief in Jesus' name. We make a heavenly withdrawal on the demonic embargo. We reverse it. We reverse it. We reverse the curses in Jesus' name. Now, Father, let all unprofitable marks in our lives be erased. Those things with which the enemy has marked us. These things with which the enemy has tried to control us. These marks, these stigmas, these scarlet letters that the enemy has pinned us with, labeled us with. These unprofitable marks. We break the powers of these slanderous, demonic assignments against our destiny now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I say let every power chasing blessings away from us be paralyzed. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Let every power, every demon power, every satanic power, every Je Jezebelic power that is chasing blessings away from us be paralyzed. We command these demon powers that are hindering our blessings to be paralyzed now in Jesus' name. Father, let every power and every enemy, every demon force begin to vomit every good thing he has eaten up in our lives in Jesus' name. We said, spit it out. Spit it out, devil. Spit it out. Spit out those things you have devoured from our lives. Now, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord, our great and mighty God. Oh Lord, our great and mighty God, give us the power to overcome every obstacle to our breakthroughs in Jesus' name. Bolster us, beef us up in the spirit, strengthen us in our inner man, oh God. Our strength comes from you. You are the source of our life. You are the source of our power. It is your resurrection power that dwells on the inside of us. Help us, Lord, to tap into what you've already given us and let your power rest upon us from the outside too. Power from the inside out. Power from the inside out. Power from the inside out and from the outside in. Oh, Jesus. We break all curses of leaking blessings in the name of Jesus. I said we break all curses of leaking blessings in the name of Jesus. And we clear our goods from the warehouse of the strong man. I said we clear our goods from the warehouse of the strong man. We bind the strong man and we go in, we go in, we go in now, we go in now, we go in now, and we're taking back what the devil stole. Stacks and 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 stacks of things that he has stolen. We go in and we take it back now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ah, Father, in the name of Jesus, let all satanic kingdoms working against me and against all listening to the sound of my voice fail now in Jesus' name. I said, let all satanic kingdoms working against me, working against those listening to the sound of my voice, fail in Jesus' name. Father, let all hidden arrows in our lives be troubled in their hiding places. Every hidden arrow that's poised for an enemy launch against us. The fiery darts, the flaming missiles, let every single one that has been targeted toward us be troubled in their hiding places in Jesus' name. We lift up our shield of faith. We lift up our shield of faith even now to quench every fiery dart. Dispatch your angels, O oh God, to war with us and war for us. In the name of Jesus, I frustrate and disappoint every instrument of the enemy fashioned against us in Jesus' name. We decimate it. We demolish it. We put an embargo on it now in the name of Jesus. Let the weapons of the enemy 
be frustrated. We declare them null and void in the name of Jesus. You shall not hinder our prophetic destiny any longer in Jesus' name. Father, let all who trouble my Israel be troubled to death in Jesus' name. We disarm every household enemy today in Jesus' name. Father, help us to cleanse our home of evil spirits in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, to see where we've allowed objects, cursed objects, into our home that has given the enemy legal right to wreak havoc on our destinies in Jesus' name. Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your authority, and I scatter all evil counselors and conspirators fashioned against us in Jesus' name. I said, I scatter all evil counselors and conspirators fashioned against us in Jesus' name. We disband your conspiracies and your confederate in the name of Jesus. I scatter all evil forces shedding blood on my behalf in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, sharpen our dull swords and repair our broken shields. Oh God, if we've not studied the word, if we've not studied the right word and we've become dull, sharpen our sword as we run back to your word, as we seek the solution in your scripture. Oh God, would you sharpen us again in Jesus' name and repair the broken shield, God, where doubt came in, where unbelief came in, where fear came in, where torment came in, where all of the different spirits came to cause us to doubt your word. Lord, we ask you to forgive us and repair our broken shields now in Jesus' name. I take authority over every satanic attack on our homes now in Jesus' name. We push you back. We break your powers. We call you to not in the name of Jesus. Your weapons are of no effect. They are disassembled and destroyed burned by fire in Jesus name burned by fire in Jesus name I withdraw the staff of the strong men delegated against me in Jesus name and against you we withdraw the staffs the guarding demons that guard the strong man that hide him from our view we withdraw the staff the minions in Jesus name Father, let every opposition to our breakthroughs crash into pieces in Jesus' name. Crash and burn, crash and burn, crash and burn. Every opposition to our breakthrough, crash and burn, crash and burn, crash and burn to bits in Jesus' name. We stand right now against every faith destroyer in our life in Jesus' name. We stand now against every destiny killing spirit in the name of Jesus. We stand now against every satanic attack, even before it's forged, even before it's formed, we speak to you and command you to die in Jesus' name. We stand against every unprofitable agreement and reconciliation in the name of Jesus. Father, if we're unequally yoked somewhere, somehow, would you help us, Lord, to see so we can break the yoke? It's your anointing that breaks the yoke. It's your anointing that breaks the yoke. It's your anointing that breaks the yoke. Father, would you break the yoke of the enemy off of our necks even now? We decree and declare we are walking in freedom. We are walking in destiny. We are walking in love. We are walking in faith. We are walking in hope. We are walking with a confidence in our God that shall not be dashed by the circumstances that we see with our eyes. We will walk by faith and not by sight. We will walk by faith and not by sight. We'll walk by faith and not by sight. With our shields that were once broken, now repaired. With our soul, that sword that was once dull, now sharpened, we are ready 
we are ready to stand tall again, knowing that our God is well able. If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? We stand in awe of the mighty warrior God who disperses our enemies. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Kumbrashte ke te de bosha. Kotor ramashte ke te roboboshe ke te roboboshe. Kite romoshe 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 te de besha la makate de bosha bashe ke te. Jesus. 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 We thank you, Lord. We seal this victory with the blood of Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shora mashtom braka tem reke te de mosho. Kata robo shoko tora bababashe ke te rabababashe. Ko tora mamashe robo boshe rabashe rabashe raba. Yere mone ke te de bosha ka te de 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 de. Ke te te de 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 de. Arara karara darara darara toko toro boshe ke te katara mashe. Oh sharama. Yere robo shoko tore besha. Ye ke te Romona ke te re bere kata boye 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 kimbra e ma sheke tole moke araba 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 keme keme kotero keme kotero mo shere kata yeshta buro kotu mereka kete re mo ele kata ne ele be she oko 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 konama kama keep praying shoko torama ye ba she ye ba she ye ba she ye ba she you can pray in tongues for one minute i know that you can yama she ke te ro is how you up this is how you bust out this is how you break in to the enemy's camp and begin to plunder the things he's stolen come on pray in the spirit come on you can do it keep pushing keep pressing Shema, ye ke tero mo she ba she, ye de mo she, ara ba she. Oh, koto, I'm not trying to gather all the pretty little prayers. I'm trying to gather the prayer warriors. Come on, press. Ya ba sho koto, ye de mo sha, ro mo she. Ya ma she ke tero ro mo ke tera ma she. Ye he, ye he, ye he, ye he, ye he. Father, we thank you today that you are God and you are seated on the throne. You are the Almighty God. Nothing, no one can come against. You and succeed. You are seated on the throne. You are high and lifted up. Everything is under your feet. We thank you, Lord, that we are seated next to you in heavenly places. We are seated next to you in the throne room in the spirit. That is our legal position, and we shall not be moved from our legal position. The devil's under your feet, therefore the devil's under our feet, and we are rising. We are ascending to that holy mountain, and we want to go with pure hands and a clean heart. Oh God, so would you forgive us of our sins? Oh God, we cry out to you and ask you for forgiveness of sins. Oh God, cleanse us, cleanse us, cleanse us, cleanse us from the unrighteousness of the world. Cleanse us, cleanse us, cleanse us from the unrighteousness of our mouths. Cleanse us, cleanse us, cleanse us. Oh God, from the unrighteousness of our mind. Cleanse us, cleanse us, cleanse us. Oh God, from the filth that has attached itself to us through our sin. Our righteousness is like dirty rags, but the righteousness of God in Christ is what we put claim to by faith in the Son of God, who lived for us and died for us and ever lives to make intercession for us. Even now, at the right hand of the Father, we thank you, Lord. We receive your forgiveness before we engage in this nuclear warfare. We shall not be moved. We shall not be taken. We shall not be forced. We shall be forceful in our Prayers today, as we take back what the enemy has stolen, break through the stubborn, demonic assignments and opposition in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Job five twelve says he disappoints the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. 
Shararabash. We stand on that word today. We stand on Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, but every tongue that has risen up against us in judgment, we shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And our righteousness is in you, O God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the beautiful God, the warrior God. Help us, Lord, to pray today. Help us, Lord, to stay on one accord today. There'll be no breaches. There'll be no breaches. There'll be no gaps in our prayer wall today. There'll be no distractions. There'll be no pulling back, no shrinking back, no running back. We're running forward to the battle line right now in Jesus' name. With our armor on and our sword of the Spirit out, sharpened, sharpened, sharper than any two-edged sword any enemy could ever form. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name that you reign. Oh, Father God, arise in your anger and fight for us even now. For you see the stern opposition. You see the demonic assignments that have been formed against us. And you've promised us that they shall not prosper. We're leaning into you with righteous indignation toward our enemy. And we ask you, Lord, to rise up in your anger and fight for us today. We refuse to allow our angels of blessing to depart from our lives in Jesus name. We cancel every evil effect of names from evil origins in our lives in the name of Jesus. We paralyze all aggression, aggressed at our star in Jesus name. We neutralize all problems originating from the mistakes of our parents in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, bring honey out of the rock for us in the name of Jesus Lord Jesus open up all the good doors of our life that household wickedness has shut in our generations let all anti breakthrough designs against our life be shattered to irreparable pieces in the name of Jesus I said shattered to bits they can never be reformed never be refashioned never be put back together again we paralyze all satanic antagonism from the womb in Jesus name we command open disgrace on the mask of the enemy in Jesus name every demon power that has crept into our lives unaware masquerading as a Christian a wolf in sheep's clothing masquerading as a friend a foe in hiding masquerading as one who would give a helping hand only to discern later that it's Jezebel we break the powers of the Jezebel spirits that have infiltrated our life in Jesus name the ones who are on your side until you say no and then all of a sudden they're intimidating all of a sudden they're slandering all of a sudden they're pressing back against you with evil decrees we break it all in Jesus name we paralyze oh God all evil legs roaming about in our territory in the name of Jesus we break them father let all evil blood that has mingled with my blood be drained out in the name of Jesus. We trample over every enemy of our advancement and promotion. We trample, we trample, we trample, not only on serpents and scorpions and every deadly thing that would try to harm us, but we trample upon every enemy of our advancement, upon every enemy of our promotion, upon every enemy of our well-being, upon every enemy of that which you've called us to your will for our lives in Jesus name we break we break every evil collective unity organized against us in Jesus name the evil satanic confederacies that have been forming strategizing plotting and planning against us we break their powers and we blind their eyes in the name of Jesus we say you shall not come nigh our dwelling you have no right we plead the blood of Jesus against you we say no more we disband your collective unity we decree confusion into the enemy's camp father let the enemy turn upon himself in Jesus name 
let all evil counselors against us follow the wrong program, confuse them, scramble their communications, cause them to wander to and fro like blind ones, blind leading the blind, blind leading the blind, blind leading the blind, blind leading the blind in Jesus' name. Let the backbone of the stubborn pursuer and strong man break in Jesus' name. Give us, Lord, backbones like steel, but break the backbone of the stubborn pursuer. Break the backbone of the strong man that's coming against us. Break the backbone of that lying demon that wants to accuse us. Break the backbone of that thieving devil that wants to take what belongs to us. Break the backbone of these stubborn demons, God, in the name of Jesus. We stabilize the controllers of any land of bondage in our life. Destabilize, destabilize, destabilize. We call you unstable and destable. All the spirits that are trying to control the issues of our life, holding what belongs to us in bondage. In Jesus' name, we break it. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, we pray the prayer of Jabez. Enlarge our territory, God, and bless us indeed. Enlarge our territory. Keep us from causing pain. Enlarge our coast beyond our wildest dreams in the name of Jesus. Enlarge our territory beyond the realms of our own imagination. Eye has not seen and ear has not heard what God has in store for us. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, would you seal all pockets that have demonic holes. And Father, if we've not given where we're supposed to give, let us consider our ways that the enemy not have an advantage over us. Let us consider our ways if our pockets have holes in them that were caused by our own doing. If our pockets have holes in them that were caused by our disobedience to give and sow where you told us to give and sow. Holy Spirit, we repent and we ask you to seal up the pockets that have demonic holes. Let the fire of disgrace fall upon demonic prophets assigned against my life. I said, let the fire of disgrace fall upon demonic prophets assigned against your life. The Jezebel prophets that have sold out to Satan. Let the fire of disgrace come upon them that they might repent that they might see the wicked ways in which they have operated and turn from them before it is too late in Jesus' name. I decree in Jesus' name that no dark meeting to conspire against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. I said no dark meeting, no secret meeting, no undercover conspiracy that has been organized or planned against us shall prosper against us in Jesus name I claim we claim back our goods presently residing in the wrong hands in Jesus name we stake a claim to what belongs to us in the name of Jesus all of the evil doers the evil hands that stole from us God we ask you to release our goods from the clutches of evildoers in Jesus' name. Oh, we're not going to fret. We're not going to fret. We're not going to fret because of evildoers. Oh, no, no, no. But we shall stand up and demand and command those evil fingers that are clutching onto our property to release what belongs to us, God. And we're just stewards of everything you've given us. That means the devil hasn't just taken our property, he's taken your property. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. Arise in anger, O God, and fight for us in Jesus' name. We claim our goods. We claim our goods. We claim our goods that are residing in the wrong hands. We claim our goods. We claim our goods. We claim our goods that are in the hand of the enemy, being held hostage, held back from the rightful owners. We say, give it back. We demand it back in Jesus' name. Father, let the blood of Jesus and the strength 
of Jesus come upon us to stand and pray. But Father, let the strength of stubborn oppressors dry up. Let the strength of stubborn, oppressive demons be weakened and brought to naught in the name of Jesus. Let the strength of stubborn oppressors be null and void in Jesus' name. Every demon power presiding over human beings because we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness, against spiritual wickedness. Let the strength of these oppressors dry up in Jesus' name. Father, Shobo Koto, Yabashe Kete Robo Shadamanekate Bosha, Yabasho Koto Brakatarabashe Kete, Yomoshe, 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 let the head of every serpent power fashioned against us be broken now in the name of Jesus. We smash the head of the serpent to bits in the name of Jesus, never to be reformed again. Father, I thank you that you led captivity captive, and the captivity must be held captive. We bind you, devil. We bind the stubborn demonic assignments against us in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that you will help us. Therefore, we shall not be confounded, but we say the enemy shall be confounded. We will set our face like flint and we shall not be ashamed, but our enemy shall be ashamed. No one who hopes in you shall ever be put to shame, but our enemy shall be put to shame. Those demon powers that try to confound us shall be confounded in Jesus name. Who shall contend with the Lord God Almighty? Who shall contend? With the Lord God Almighty, no demon power is forceful enough. No demon power is strong enough to contend with our Lord and our God. We speak confusion into the enemy's camp in Jesus' name. And we shall not be moved. And we shall not let go of that which you have ordained for us, that which you've called us to. We shall not release it. We shall not give up upon it. We shall walk in the light even as you are in the light seeing stubborn demonic assignments before they even manifest and coming against them with the blood of the Lamb. And the word of God, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, arise in anger and fight for us. O oh Lord, arise and let your enemies be scattered. Send your angels on assignment again. In Jesus' name, we paralyze the demonic powers and we shut them up in the cage that they built for us. We hang them on the noose they erected for us. We thank you, Lord, that you are a warrior and that you have given us the victory, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, but we've got to fight back and you've put in us a spirit of might. One of the seven spirits of God, the spirit of might. We thank you, Lord, for the spirit of might. We praise you, Lord, for the spirit of might. We thank you, Lord, that this battle is not really ours, but it's the Lord's. It's not our battle. It's your battle. But we will stand and we will fight because when the devil messes with us, he's messing with you. And we will not lay down our weapons and let him have his way. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We praise you. And we thank you. If God be for us, then who can be against us? We thank you and we praise you. If God be for us, then who can be against us? We thank you and we praise you. That our God always leads us into triumph in Christ Jesus. So, Father, help us to be led into every battle. Not to be presumptuous. Not to get out beyond our authority and your grace. Not to fight battles that you've not called us to. But likewise, O oh God, would you help us, Lord, not to shrink back from the fight that is set before us. The devil came at us one way, and he's going to have to flee seven ways in the name of Jesus. And we say it one more time. Give us back our stuff now in Jesus' name. Loose what belongs to us, you stubborn demons. Let it go 
Give me back my property now, devil, in the name of Jesus. Give all those listening to the sound of my voice their property back now in Jesus' name. Everything the devil stole with interest. Everything the devil stole with interest. With interest. With interest. When the widow had to leave her land in a time of famine, she came back and she received everything she lost with interest. I said now... I will not be patient with the devil. He's a trespasser and a liar and he has no rights. And we thank you, Lord, in Jesus name that you are our defender. You are our warrior. And we're going to keep asking and keep asking and keep asking like the persistent widow until we see vengeance. We will not avenge ourselves, but vengeance belongs to you, says the Lord. Vengeance belongs to him. So we thank you, Lord, that you avenge us of our spiritual enemies. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but avenge us against our spiritual enemies. For your glory, for your glory, for your glory, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I speak to that stolen inheritance. And I command it to be loosed and returned to you with interest in Jesus' name. I speak to that one who has been wronged, persecuted, slandered. And I say vindication is your portion. I speak to the one from whom things from family lines were stolen. And I command you, devil, to loose it now in Jesus' name. Right now, with interest, in Jesus' name. 